Hello friends and assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel IB all designing developer in today's project I'll be telling you what is default and exports project in uh, react 18 so now I will be telling you how to default and export your tags in react 18 so this video will be really helpful because in, in this video I will be telling you all the things which you needed to learn about react 18 We'll be starting from beginning and if you want to check my starting videos of react 18 you can check that out i will start from setup in which i have set up all the like things how to download react 18 how to use text editor what text editor we should use then we have also created a react tab in which we have included react 18 to make it more modern you can check my previous videos if you have not seen yet and if you not know so remember to check that out because that will give you help and in today's video i'll be like telling you like what is default and export in uh, react 18 and i'll be telling you how to do default and import in react 18 so remember to see this video if you want to learn how to just build this and how to default and export your names in react 18 and if you want to see more videos like that so hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and if you want to see more videos like that so after subscribing your notification bell from which you will be notified with all the future videos and also share this video so more people can learn about these amazing things and i hope you'll be enjoying all the future videos also which i'll be uploading because that will also give you help moving forward so just we'll be starting with our video and seeing how to build this amazing project of default and export name in react 18 so just like i'm telling you in this video i'll be telling you what is default and name exports in react 18 so just now we'll be starting with our video and seeing what are default and name exports in react 18 so for just using this default and name export you have to open your vs code and this is our opera browser so these were the two files which we are running in the previous video we have learned about creating our own component so this was the tag which we have written to create our own component here from console tag so here this was the tag now which we have written so here i will be removing and then we have to just now uh, we have to just def we have to get our default name or you can say we will be getting our default ex name and export here so i'll be telling you what is default name and export here in react 18 so just now uh, we'll be starting with that so for getting your own default name and exports for doing that you have to just move down and now we have to write any default name and export here so here we will be moving down then i will be writing import default so here i will be writing import default normalizer operate options so when you will be doing that here you have to save you can see we are getting this written here now when you are getting you have to move under this uh, diff class name app then you have to just move down after moving down you have to just write here tag which will be like p so here i will be now just writing this you can see now when I've written this, so we are just getting this get first and here you can write here get first name like this. Then here you can write return. Then you can write here second name like this thing. Now you can see this we have just written. Then here after writing this, you can work with this here. And when you will be working, so you will be getting this get first name means you will be getting your first name. Then you can use this as your last name here. So here I will be just moving down. Then if I write this h1 tag here and in the name means default name you want to create so you have to write here any name so here i've written my name default and we are getting this here so for aligning this you have you have to move here and then after moving you have to just write here bootstrap then here i will be writing cdn like this now you have to move to this and after moving here you will be getting many of the different cdn so you can copy one of them so here i will be moving then you have to just copy this cdn from here press copy then you have to just do one thing here i will be moving on to this file here like this then when you are on this file here you have to just do one thing here i will be moving after this tag and after doing this here i will be just writing a link tag here so simply here you have to now paste this tag here which we have just copied just you have to write link so here i will be now just writing here link tag like this then write here source like this then in source here i will be now writing like this thing just you have to now make this tag like this erase these all stuff then you have to just do one thing here i will be now removing these all things from here because we will be not needing this so here i will be moving again right here bootstrap cdn again like this now when you've written this here i will be just moving in this tag like this thing then when you've written this just you have to now move here in this tag then after moving you have to just do one thing here you have to now 
just press control c from here directly then paste just one thing should be uh, just one thing should be different like here you have to write slash to close you will be not needing of this link tag now we have closed this so here i will be just taking this thing down so for taking down you have to press enter then here also then take it down here and after just taking it down you have to just move here and then take it down from here else now when you've written all this stuff here you have to just do one thing give a space from here at the top and from down also so now we are getting these all the stuff save this then you can see we have just changed our font so we have do that using default name and export here in react dating so when you uh, then with these all things here if i show you one thing like now if you align if you want to align this default name which i have written i have written my name here as default you can write any other name as well then here if i move in this h1 and if i want to align this so here i will be writing class name then after writing this class name here you have to write tag center if you want to do it in the center of the page you can see now the tag has been in center and it is in the center of the page you can see it is looking cool now here you can just also align it by writing any other text here like if you want to write if you want background color on this text so you will be writing bg color say you can see nothing happens because here we have to write the color name so if i write bg info you will be getting the info color if you write success so you will be getting here success now if you write here danger so you will be getting here red you can see crimson like color so here you can use different colors here like if you write primary so you will be getting primary if i write secondary like this so you will be getting here secondary so you can see like this so here these are the thing which you can use here in this so i want to show you like this you can see bg danger then here you have to write text should be center like this now here you have to write just class thing then write like this say you can see it has been in center so like this you can just use this default name and export we have just export this default normalizer options at the top and after importing this we have used this default name here to just style this and to work with this so like this you can just here uh, write the default name and then you can just export that default name at the top so here this was our project in which we have learned how to just get our default name and export in react 18 and i hope you understand how we have just do that all things so if you have understand enjoy this video so hit a like and if you want to see more videos like that so hit a subscribe on this channel after subscribing hit notification bell from which you'll be notified with all the future videos and also share this video so more people can learn about these amazing things and i hope you'll be enjoying all the videos like that in future also so remember to check that out because that will also giving you help moving forward so just i'll be meeting you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials so for today good Bye.